Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good day, thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. Kev, Kev, no, the rain didn't keep me in. I'm actually going out later than I thought. We're actually going to be going out about 11 o'clock, 1130, because I'm grown. So I said, oh, well, I have time to do the restaurant reviews. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Let me get my banners and stuff going on down here. Let me get the CMOS link down here. You all get your CMOS. Go ahead and put the cash up up here just in case, just in, just in case I don't make it home tonight. But here's the thing. Um, I've had two one-on-ones today, niece, and I got another one tomorrow. Y'all locking these one-on-ones up. Do you hear me? Um, who's that? Miss Ann, I won't need a nap. I'm young. I'm young. I'm young and I'm hip. <laughs> I'm young and I'm hip. <laughs> but um, I put the um, merch up at the beginning of this video. Communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. Because a lot of people, I know there are a lot of newbies now. Um, a lot of people didn't know that I already had that on merch. And somebody messaged me today and was like, can I get this on a t-shirt or something? I'm like, girl, it's already on t-shirts. It's on coffee mugs. It's on t-shirts. It's on hoodies. So I wanted to start with that. But at any rate, listen, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get into our restaurant reviews. This is for the Waffle House over on Cobb Parkway. Because if you remember, I went to the Battery the other day. That's a ballpark for those of you who don't know. I went to the Battery the other day for a baseball game. I have not had a piece of candy, Erica Greason. Get out of here with that foolishness. <laughs> um, but at any rate, I'm ready to do these restaurant reviews. Amen? Amen. So we're only reading the one stars. We're only reading the one stars. Amen? Look at Rita talking about her favorite breakfast spot. Listen, if they don't have any teeth, it ain't a Waffle House if they got their teeth. Amen? So this is Jerry G. He says, someone directed me to sit at the counter. And after doing so for 10 to 15 minutes, waiting for someone to take my order, I got up and left. On my way out, one of their employees sarcastically gave me a, bye, Felicia. <laughs> Talk about unprofessional. One of the employees said, bye, Felicia, as I walked out the door. Funny but obviously not how you should treat people who wanted to spend their money in your establishment. Jerry, what you need to understand is this is not their place. This is not their establishment. They don't give a damn if you stay or go because they know there are gonna be some other people stumbling in from the, from the nightclub that's gonna support that place, amen? They don't give a damn. They don't give a damn, amen? They saying, get the mic, get the mic. Let me get the mic. Y'all a mess, let me get the mic. Whew. Let me get this, this microphone. Y'all kill me. Here y'all come with this mic. I done started, a, I done created a monster. I done created a monster. Hold on one second. Okay, so this next restaurant review is for, for from Tiana, I think it says. So she says, I usually don't do bad reviews, but I just want to warn people that there is a very rude and disrespectful employee named 
Andy in this location. If you can try to avoid this location in general, good. If not, try avoiding her. She's the most disrespectful employee I have ever encountered in my whole life. I had to cancel my order and get a refund because she was very rude. She was yelling and screaming at me, treated, excuse me, treated me like I am dumb. She's in oh, excuse me. She's impatient, inconsiderate, unethical, and unprofessional. She's just the worst. And she put worst in capital letters, W-R-S-T. I would never hire anyone like her. Your Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Well, Tiana, Tiana, this is the Waffle House. They get what they can get. They're not going to have top tier stellar employees. It's the Waffle House. If you want it better customer service, then I'm going to need you to go to a five star place, not the Waffle House, niece. I am emailing the Waffle House complaint department as well as the independent bodies. That's the independent bodies. What? I don't know what she was trying to say. My God, today. Independent, independent bodies. What? Okay, Nick Gerard. He says, wait staff claimed to be busy, even though it was. Wait, what? I'm going to read it how he got it. Wait staff claimed to be busy, even though it was it practically dead quiet. When tables go up, people who came in would sit down and the wait staff showed no urgency or care in cleaning tables or greeting guests. Nick, it's the Waffle House. They don't really have a host saying. They don't have a host or a hostess. So when you come in, sit your ass down. Why do you go to the Waffle House expecting five-star service? It's a cafeteria at best. They have a counter, for God's sake. There are a couple steps down from Shoney's and Bob Big Boy and Denny's. Come on, Parker boy, with the with the with the super chat. Amen. So then he goes on to say, "I was never greeted, Nick. It's the Waffle House. You're not going to be greeted until someone comes to your table." A waitress announced to the entire restaurant that it was customers' faults. This is what he says that it was customers' fault for sitting themselves at dirty tables and not being greeted. Once upon a time, I used to eat at the Waffle House. Now, I no longer eat there. I no longer eat there because everything is cooked on the same grill. Everything is cooked on the same grill. So I no longer eat there. The bacon, the chicken, the sausage, the steak, the steak, all that is on the same grill, grill, and I don't eat meat. I can't I think, think of one time, I can't think of one time that I've ever gone to the Waffle House and there weren't at least two dirty tables. You just know that you just know to expect that when you go to the Waffle House. It's not the Waffle House if it's not dirty. It's not the Waffle House if you don't peer over that little counter. You know, back when you look over, over the counter and back there where they be walking around, if you peer over that counter and they don't have a bunch of dirt and shit all on the floor, eggshells and pieces of waffle down on the floor, your food probably ain't going to be good. There's a certain amount of foolishness that has to be on the floor. So Nick goes on to say, 
For those that go to Waffle House on a regular basis, everyone is accustomed to sitting themselves at dirty tables and waiting for staff to greet them immediately and don't mind waiting for the table to be cleaned. However, myself and several other tables were ignored for at least 15 minutes. I waited over an hour just to get a tea. Well, Nick, you're a goddamn fool. Nick, you're a motherfucking fool. Why would you sit there for a whole hour for a tea? You mean to tell me you sat there for an entire hour waiting for a tea at the Waffle House? Everyone in there, Nick, at the Waffle House probably has at least a felony. At least a felony. So then he goes on to say, I got my food before my drink. He said he got his food before he got his drink. Who are you people that sit in these restaurants waiting all of this time for just a drink? Because the way my pace used to be set up, I'm not sitting, listen, I'm not sitting there for. So then he says, with this bad grammar, he says, I got my food before my drink. And both mine and my girls, he should have said both my and my girls, friends, order was incorrect. They're either, hold on. He says, they're either severely understaffed or not had enough training. I can't even believe I'm leaving such a low star review. Nick, I can't even believe you had such high expectations. I can't even believe you had such high expectations for the Waffle House. Let me delete his and go to the next one. Amen. All right, we have Alex. He says, sat down at an open table. Waitress was completely rude. Did not care if I if they had to clean. Wait, wait, what? I, my guess is that um, Alex was in a hurry when he wrote this, because this doesn't even make no sense. Now I'm gonna just I'm just gonna read it to you the way the way that it's written here. Okay. sat down at an open table, dot, dot, dot. Waitress was completely rude, exclamation point. Did not care if they had to clean table as I mentioned to table, period. Completely rude, three exclamation points. I don't know what the fuck he's trying to say there, but we're gonna delete that and go to the next um, review. Brandy says, let me look at Brandy. She has a picture up here. Okay, Brandy looked like she got good sense. Let's see if she can write. I called and placed an order to this location. When I went up there, I told the waitress I had placed and order over the phone. She's trying to say and. And order over the phone. And she directed me to the to-go area. I waited 30 minutes. Thank you, Tam, for the cash app. She said, you in that microphone. The server, wait, wait. She says, I waited 30 minutes to be talked to. You know what? I don't even know if I can do this. When I tell you these people, listen. And I just need you all to know, this is just water. I don't read these reviews until I talk to you all, okay? 
So this is my first time seeing this. Then let me let me let me just go back to the top, okay? I called and placed an order to this location. When I went up there, I told the waitress I had placed and order over the phone and she directed me to the to go area. I waited 30 minutes. Now, if you've called in your order, why are you now standing in there for 30 minutes? Then she says, the server was too busy flirting and talking with every single person there, but okay. Then she says, after waiting 30 minutes, I asked different server about my order I'd placed. Excuse me. She responded that they don't take orders over the phone. Well, ma'am, somebody took my order because I surely called in. She responded that they don't take orders over the phone, so it wasn't their location that picked up. <laughs> ah, let me find out she is at the wrong location on Car Parkwell. So then she says, I triple checked and realized I was at the wrong location. Well, niece, why are you writing a review at this location? You writing a bad review for them because you fucked up and went to the wrong location? So then she says, I triple checked and realized I was at the wrong location, but I feel that should have been communicated with me from the beginning when I first went in and asked. So it's their fault that you were dumb. It's their fault that you were dumb. Like I said, mistake on my part, but when I came in the restaurant and said that, she didn't initially say that. She just directed me to the to-go area unprofessional all the way around y'all could have said that when i first <laughs> she is really adamant about this y'all could have said that when i first came and said i placed an order over the phone plus like i said if i wait what plus like i said if the cashier wasn't too busy talking and getting phone numbers from customers i would have been waited on earlier not coming here again well, niece, you wouldn't, you shouldn't have been there in the first place because you fucked up and went to the wrong location. So I don't care how many times you write it. I don't care how many times you write it in this paragraph. You fucked up and went to the wrong location. And then you're going to get mad with them. Girl, this, this phone, this microphone is acting up. Let me cut her off and turn her back on. Let's see. It's like, now how you going to be mad with them? Your Bluetooth device is ready to pair. You a dummy, bitch. <laughs> Ain't that what Monique said in Precious? <laughs> you a dummy, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Julio. The person that was cooking had an attitude. Well, it ain't the Waffle House of thing got no attitude. It ain't no, it, it ain't no, it ain't the Waffle House if they don't have no attitude. If you want good customer service, you need to go on over to the Chick Fil A, where it's their pleasure. The person that was cooking had an attitude. Looked like he didn't want to work. Throwing food when he was cooking. Very, very poor service from him. That's all he said. Here's Noah. Better be out of there in 20 minutes or less. Stay a hair over that, and they start getting impatient. I've not been told, I've not been told three times that I need to wrap it up because I wasn't eating fast enough. Apparently, I need to scarf down a waffle like I've been stuck in the Andes for the last three months. I timed it this last visit, 22 minutes in, and the waitress was, is already trying to give my table away. All I want to do is not be at home or at work. All I want to do is just not think for a few moments, but no, I need to get a move on to nowhere because tables are for big spenders, I guess. What? No, what are you talking about? 
Let's go to the next one. Now, I don't know what this name is. It's J-E-H-U. Hey, who? Is it hey, who? Jehu? I don't know. Really bad service. They don't attend nicely. The guy who cook start cleaning floors, doing a lot of noise while we are eating. I don't think English is his first language, but we're going to move to the next one. John, it's 4 a.m. I just finished a 12-hour shift working outside. I'm hungry and cold. The lady would not serve me, said no dining. Now, I'm not going to tell you that he spelled dining with an E. He spelled it D-I-N-E-I-N-G. You know, you drop the E when you put that, when you add the I-N-G. I guess they didn't learn that little, that little melody in school. I'm sitting in my truck and counted 11 people sitting down eating. What is going on? Two days ago, they told me they were not serving food. There were, wait a minute. He said there were four employees, T-H-E-I-R. Sir, that's ownership. That's, that's the wrong there. There were four employees sitting in the corner and there, he wrote there correctly this time, T-H-E-R-E. There was trash all over the floor. What would I tell you? You got to have, you got to have trash on the floor at the Waffle House or it ain't the Waffle House. There was trash all over the floor and cooking area was filthy mess. I told you. I thought Waffle House was 24 hours. Sir, you mean to tell me that's the only thing you're concerned about is that it's not 24 hours? So, so you're not concerned about the code violations and the lack of cleanliness. You're worried about. All right, so now we have Samantha. I went in with family and placed an order, two pork chops. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now I'm gonna read this exactly how she says it, okay? So pay attention. There's not a period until the fourth line down. Surely she should have had a period before this. But watch this. I went in with I went in with my family and placed a order, two pork chops plates. One was a breakfast pork chop plate and taxes toast. Taxes toast. Not taxes. Taxes toast. Like you pay taxes. Taxes toast, cheese steak, patty melt plate, and two chocolate chip waffles, period. That's the first period. Should I read it again? Because I think I lost some of you around taxes toast. Let me start again. I went in with, now watch how I pronounce this stuff, okay? I went in with family and placed a order, two pork chops plates. One was a breakfast pork chop plate and taxes toast. Taxes, wait a minute, taxes, taxes toast cheesesteak patty melt plate and two chocolate chip waffles. What is Taxes Toast? Is that, some, is that something that they sell in Washington, D.C.? The Taxes, the Taxes Toast. I tried calling 28 times. Wait a minute. Samantha, let me, let me zoom in on your picture because you don't look like you got all your marbles. Yeah. Samantha ain't got it all. She look a little crazy. If you got time to call a restaurant 28 times, I tried calling 28 times. And listen, watch this. She spelled times, T-I-M-E, Apostrophe S. Honey, we are doomed. Do you hear me? She didn't spell it T-I-M-E-S. She spelled it T-I-M-E apostrophe S. 
talk about negligent use of an apostrophe. Talk about growth abuse. Right, what she's trying to say, time is. <laughs> ah, what's she trying to say, time is. So then she says, I tried calling 28 times, apostrophe S. No one picked up the phone and I live 45 minutes away. You know, y'all have a good night. That is the end of the restaurant review. <laughs> let me go ahead and shut the, let me close the house up. Let me, mm. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Y'all have an amazing night. <laughs> I can't take it. I cannot take it. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me you live 45 minutes from the Waffle House and you drove 45 minutes? First of all, there's a Waffle House every third corner and you drove 45. She says, I told you she wasn't all there. I told you when I looked at the picture, she was not all there. I tried calling 28 times. No one picked up the phone and I live 45 minutes away. So I wasn't going to go back. But how much I paid for all my food, somebody needs to make up for this. But how much I paid, someone needs to make up for, oh my God, this sentence structure is awful. But how much I paid for all my food, somebody needs to make up for this. Let me delete this and go to the next one. Jarrell. I don't know where the hell she lived, because I mean, I don't understand how you don't have Waffle House near you. You driving 45 minutes. Right. I, Jarrell says, tonight makes the third time in five days that I've walked in and was greeted by a teammate explaining that they were either not taking orders or not taking any more takeout orders. Jarrell, wait a minute. Your Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Jarrell, we need to talk about your diet. Jarrell, 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 we need to talk about your diet. We need to know why are you eating at the Waffle House three times a week? Why are you eating at the Waffle House three times a week, Jarrell? Why are you eating at the Waffle House three times a week? The one time I was able to order, it felt like I was being a nuisance and not a paying customer. While most Waffle Houses are what we've all grown to understand them to be, the presence and service at this location was truly disappointing. I can only imagine how much money this location misses out on. They turned away six people, not including me, in the three minutes I was there. Hi there, I'd rather be home. I don't know what this girl's name is. Maybe you all can help me pronounce it. It's T-E, somebody write this down now. T-E-R-R-A-Y-A. -R -R is that Taraya? We have a response from the Waffle House too down here. Y'all ready? Taraya says, Never coming back to this Waffle House, exclamation point. I came in to eat and do some work. W wait a minute, wait, Nene. How are you coming to the Waffle House to work? At any given moment, there's a fight that's going to break out at the Waffle House. How are you working at the Waffle House? Starbucks, maybe, yes. Caribou Coffee, sure. Waffle House? Usually when people work from out of their house, they go and work at a peaceful place. There's too much noise in the Waffle House. People cussing, splitting verbs, fighting, yelling, a bunch of Ebonics. 
And I don't just mean from the black people, I mean from the white people too that don't have peace. How are you working? I mean, can you imagine trying to do a Zoom from the Waffle House? How's she taking meetings at how's she taking meetings at the Waffle House? Girl. So she says, I came in to eat and do some work. Wait, wait, what? Wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna read it to you how she got it. I came in to, to eat and do some work done really fast before my meeting next door. And I couldn't even concentrate, you think? And I couldn't even concentrate, you think? You went into the Waffle House. She said, and I couldn't even concentrate from how loud and obnoxious the employees were. You would have had better luck at Chuck and Cheese with a bunch of screaming children yelling. She says, then once my food came out, the waffle was half done and the server never came back to check on me. I sat there and finished my eggs. No one still came over to check on me. I sat there for another 15 minutes. Okay, you clearly ain't had no way to go. You ain't had no meeting next door. I sat there another 15 minutes. She still didn't come back, didn't even bring the check. She hadn't even wrote it up until I just walked to the register myself because I was tired of sitting there waiting, listening to all the loud talking. Me being a very important businesswoman. Wait a minute. Uh-uh. 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 uh 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 If you got to call yourself an important businesswoman, you're probably not important or a businesswoman. Especially if you go into the Waffle House to work, you're not about your business. Me being a very important businesswoman, this is the example of terrible customer service and I won't spend my change at this location again. Waffle House says, we're very sorry to see this review about your recent experience with us. We apologize for this and would appreciate more info here so we can look into it. And they left a link for her to click on it. I don't, I can't believe she just called herself a very, a, a, an important businesswoman, especially the way that she wrote that sentence. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, our next one. TJ Meeks. He says, beware, capital letters. This restaurant is horrible. The workers here are the most racist people. Wait a minute. Did he just claim racism? Did he just claim racism? Beware. This restaurant is horrible. The workers here are the most racist people I've ever seen. Very rude and not professional, even for a Waffle House. Okay. Lois, she says, go to this establishment quite a bit because it's on my neighborhood. It's on my neighborhood? Okay. Love it when I attend 
Love it when I attend until yesterday and saw an employee fix at least six plates cross-contaminating food. Lois, he's been doing that. He's been cross-contaminating. In fact, they do that at all the Waffle Houses. That's why I said I don't eat there anymore because they they everything is cooked on the same grill meat. And if you've been eating there as often as you say you do, then you should know this or you're just not very observant. Thank you, Shantaya, for the cash app. She says, I finally addressed the manager, Derek, and ask, not asked, but and ask him, was her short on gloves? What? Was her short on gloves? She was trying to say, was she short on gloves? He stated, no. So I let him know what had been observed. Hope he addressed this problem. Lois, I just need to know if you stayed there to eat or did you get up and leave? If you stayed there to eat, I don't understand why you wrote this review. Now, let me tell y'all a story. Once upon a time, I was at the Waffle House. This was many, many years ago. I was at Hampton University. And those of you that know the Hampton University area, It's the Waffle House that's on Mercury Boulevard. It's on Mercury Boulevard, right? And so me and two of my friends, we went to the Waffle House one morning and we were having breakfast and we were sitting right there at the booth. And, you know, like I said, you could look over that little, that little railing and you could see, you know, the walkway. You could see all of the trash on the floor, all the grease on the floor and what's been spilled and everything else. And so this white girl was our server. And she came over to take our order. And so she had a little notepad in her hand and she was taking our order and she coughed in her hand. She said, <coughs> she, and she took her, and I was waiting for her to go wash her hands. She never went to wash her hands. Instead, she went and grabbed our cups. You know, at the Waffle House, they got the little plastic cup. She went and grabbed the cups and she dug the cups in the ice. She scooped the cup in the ice to get the ice. That was my cue to call the manager. I was like, excuse me. She just coughed in her hands and then she grabbed my cup and then she went to get ice and she dug it down into the ice thing. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need her to go wash her hands or I'm gonna need a new server. And she was like, no, I didn't cough in my hand. I, did. I said, no, 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 you coughed in your hands. I was looking at you. I said, just wash your hands, please. And so she went and washed her hands, but she didn't like it, but I didn't give a fuck. My two friends were sitting there embarrassed. They were like, oh my God, oh my God, friend, I can't believe that you, but they were so glad that I asked her to go wash her hands. They were so grateful that I went, that I asked her to go and wash her hands because they wanted to say it, but they were afraid to put her on the spot. I didn't give a fuck. All right, so this person's name is D. As usual, I ventured to this Waffle House to eat, but I got no service again. Again? Well, why do you keep going back? Because they are always closed. I don't understand how I could go to a Waffle House over 20 times and they're always closed, but you can see the employees hanging out and having a good time inside. John says, came in for a bite after a Braves game. Location was short-staffed and not serving food. I understand the frustra frustration of being short-staffed, but no need to be so rude about it. If you aren't serving customers, then the least the woman can do is close the restaurant instead of yelling at everyone who walks in to get out. The Waffle House owner responds. He says, if you had an issue at one of our restaurants, please ask. We ask that you please re file a report here. And he left a link. All right. So now we have. I'm going to need you all to help me with this name. I don't know what the fuck this is. What is, what is what, what's that name? 
De Deliverancia? Deliverancia? What is that? Who named her? What? Where, where, where did that name come from? All right. Did, did, did Larry, did, wait a minute, whatever that name is. I went in 4 a.m. this morning and patiently waited for 20 minutes to be acknowledged. So you mean to tell me you sitting there waiting 20 minutes for them to even say hello? You waited, I thought she was gonna say she waited 20 minutes for her food. You waited, you waited 20 minutes before somebody came and said hello and you sat there? 20 minutes to be acknowledged before the guy next to me told me they were not taking any more orders. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. You yeah, listen, you can't I can't make this shit up. You mean to tell me you sat there for 20 minutes and not an employee said to you, ma'am, we're not taking any more. They let you sit there for 20 minutes and a customer had the nerve to tell you. And if, if, if I'm not mistaken, isn't the Waffle House 24 hours? Isn't the Waffle House 24 hours? I don't understand why they weren't taking any orders. I got to read this again. I went in 4 a.m. this morning and patiently, I thought they were 24 hours more. 20, I, I went in 4 a.m. this morning and patiently waited for 20 minutes to be acknowledged before the guy next to me told me they were not taking any more orders unless you were paying extra. What? So it's so a shakedown. Shake so it's so a shakedown. Shake it's a shakedown shake at the Waffle House. I asked the waiter who kept her head down. She told me I would have to speak to the Caucasian woman with blue hair. <laughs> wait, I, wait, wait. This is just a fucking circus. Do you hear me? I would have to speak to the Caucasian lady with blue hair and didn't make any eye contact. This woman confirmed they weren't taking orders until the next shift at 8 a.m. So that's four hours later. Car Parkway and this area are getting shady. I don't suggest visiting this shady Waffle House. The kitchen was very messy and yet you were sitting there waiting to be ordered to, to order. And yet and you were sitting there waiting, waiting to order. order. So, so now you want to read the Waffle house, house and the messiness of the kitchen, kitchen, but you were so ready to eat at that Waffle House. I don't suggest visiting this shady Waffle House. The kitchen was very messy with excessive waffle batter covering the waffle area. The customer next to me advised me to pay extra, but they are too many options to opt in for it for an evident hustle. What? I did not want to encourage anyone to go against their company's policy and hustle their customers. Please don't bother yourself. IHOP is about two lights down. I went to the Waffle House on Atlanta Road about two exits away. They provided prompt and excellent customer service. I didn't mind tipping her at all. I will be taking the extra couple of minutes to travel to this one in the future. The Waffle House responded. We definitely want to address this with our team. Can you please give us more info? First of all, what do you expect? The Waffle House is full of miscreants. Okay, Edom. 
E-D-E-M. I'm trying to see this picture up here. Girl, what's she doing? Praise and worship? Or is she at, a, is she at karaoke? What's she doing? Is that at church? What is that? She says, disrespectful workers. Very ghetto. They wanted to start a fight for no reason, but they wasn't worth it. Addressing a customer like a street friend. Maybe she wasn't at church. <laughs> oh, now we have a picture for this one. She says, cleaning ceilings while cooking the food is so unsanitary. Please educate the staff at this location. Do you see that lady up there with that mask on, stand up on that, on that, on that, on that ladder? And look at the people at the counter. Look at the people eating at the counter. And look at the gentleman standing in front of the people eating at the counter, looking at the person taking the picture. Let me draw your attention to it because I think you're probably missing it. Right here. Do you see this person right here? Do you see him? He is looking at the, he's looking at the camera. Oh, that's a woman. She's looking at the camera. Who, who is this up here cleaning up on the? I'm going to tell you something. When I go to a restaurant and they come around, they get the vacuum in and sweep it and shit. I'm like, uh-uh, excuse me, you sweeping that stuff up over here by my food. I'm quick to tell them. When I'm when I'm eating and you coming around and you sweeping, uh-uh, excuse me, can you sweep over there until I'm finished? Uh-uh, don't sweep that shit up over here. Who are these people? Okay, Graham says, so open 24 hours must mean except 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Employee told me they were closed as I was walking up. <laughs> Sir, get back in your car. We're closed. So then she, he says, if you're closed, maybe turn off your neon light. That's because them black folks working over there do what the fuck they want to do. They ain't supposed to be closed. So then here we have um, Michael. Michael looks like a fag. But anyway, my <laughs> let's see. Do you all think that Michael's a fag? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. All right, listen. Michael says the restaurant was empty and the workers were having an extremely loud conversation, almost screaming in each other's faces, less than three feet apart. This went on for 40 minutes. I would not have been able to stay there. I need to be able to eat in peace. I can't hear all that yelling and carrying on. This went on for 40 minutes. I don't think I can overstate how loud they were being. The other two tables of customers were sitting in silence and staring at them, and I couldn't hear the person sitting one foot away from me. I've been to Waffle House hundreds of times in my life, and I know they're pretty loud inside, but this was genuinely surreal. The Waffle House responded. If you have had it, wait, if you have had an issue at one of our restaurants, we ask, girl, the damn management can't even write. I'm skipping it because I don't even know what they're trying to say. All right. Ashley says, this Waffle House is located across from the Brave Stadium. They should be prepared on game nights. However, they are not. I called three times and no one answered. So I drove to the store only to be told that they aren't taking orders for 45 minutes. That's all she had to say. As Cheney says, came here at 4 p.m. No other customers in the building. Music was blasting. We weren't greeted. Well, that's because they were having a party. They were having a party and you interrupted. We weren't greeted. The cook just pointed outside at the lady cleaning the parking lot while smoking a cigarette. He then walked to the back. I suppose she was the only one that could take orders. She saw us pull up, but didn't come in to assist. We walked out, never again. Poor customer service. 
as change, it's probably best that you walked out because that lady would have come in from the parking lot and she would not have washed her hands. Brittany went here after a Braves game around 9 p.m. Manager said they didn't have enough people to make us food, even though six people were sitting on the counters, hanging out and doing nothing. Would not recommend. The Waffle House commented and said, we definitely want to address this with our team. Can you please give us more information? Well, what more information do you need? What more information do you need? She said everything you needed to know right here. She told you the location. And she told you what, what didn't happen. Hat Brown's full of smoke, niece. Let me tell y'all something. So this new barber that I go to, he smokes. And I hope he ain't looking at my social media. Because um, the first time I went in there, he was like, you look familiar. Like, I don't know why I, I, I've seen, do you work out over here? I said, no, I don't come to this gym. And he was like, God, you look so familiar. And I said, oh, okay. And I proceeded to dip my head back so I can get my, get my beard trimmed up. Amen. I'm not here to play guessing games. And so he stopped in the middle of trimming my beard and said, that's it. You do entertainment stuff. He said, you, you do uh, fag talk. Like, I said, yeah. All of that to say, he smoked cigarettes. And I don't know if I've ever been to a barber. I can't recall ever going to a barber who smoked. I think this is the first time in my life. I think this might be the first time in my life that I've gone to a barber that smokes. But if you know, when people smoke, you know, the cigarette is right. When he be right here by my face trying to trim, I'm like, oh, I can smell those cigarettes. I'm gonna need you to go wash your hands. I don't wanna smell that up, up my nose. Why are you trimming? Okay, so there's somebody named Marshall. Marshall says, if there was an option of zero stars, I'd choose it. Still waiting on a greet or assistance. This is my third time at store 154 and gladly my last. I feel a little sadness for the guests and for Waffle House for only having this type of staff available to them. I know you don't think no real server is going to come work over at the Waffle House and deal with all that, that foolishness that happens over there at the Waffle House. I know you don't think that. Y'all got to stop going to the Waffle House and expecting to have Usually I can endure poor service since I wait tables. Genuine disgust and resentment are my only feelings for this location. I really dislike making complaints. Unfortunately, not dining here is my only remedy. I, listen, I don't know what her name is. Y'all can help me with that. What is her name? Kawana? Is that Kawana? Is that her name? She says, this place is the absolute worst, capital letters. The early morning crew before 6 a.m. has found a way. Now, I don't know why she got a period there and starts a whole new picture, a whole new, a whole new sentence. This is a sentence, according to her. The early morning crew before 6 a.m., period. What about them? What, what about them? So then her next sentence, she says, has found a way to somehow never answer the phone. You call for 15 minutes, pull up to the parking lot, and it's empty. Go inside on multiple occasions. I have found someone eating. They, they meal. Not there. They meal. A few times found some employees outside talking to their friends in the car. Walked in a few times, found an employee sleep. Then when you tell them you've been trying to call, the employees catch an attitude with you like it's your fault. You are on your way to work and want to stop by their job and get breakfast. 
Oh, I was busy. Oh, I'm here by myself. Oh, there must be something wrong with the phone. But magically, that new crew come in at six and the phone working, they remembering orders. But I guess that is what happens. I don't know what she's trying to say, but that's what she said. That's what she said, okay. Kyle came in with a group of 16 people. Just a little water. Now, I don't know who's going to the Waffle House with 16 people. You took a party to the Waffle House? I don't even know if they have a setup for, they don't even have nowhere for you to set up. None of their tables move. Came in with a group of 16 people. Why didn't y'all just go to Golden Corral? Why didn't y'all just go to Golden Corral? Hell, you could have went over to the food court right there at Cumberland Mall. It's right up the street. Came in with a group of 16 people. I am still stuck there. And the server was friendly at first until we started ordering. I asked for a sausage, egg, and cheese bowl. And it didn't come with eggs. Our group's food kept coming out wrong. Some of us had finished our meals before others even placed theirs. We had asked for our drinks four to five times for our drinks to come out. When it finally did, it was one of the cooks that had to serve us. The one server that was actually working was being rude and snappy towards us whenever we would ask for anything else. Would not recommend. Kyle, I would not recommend you going into the fucking Waffle House with 15 other people ever again. That was just dumb. Jason says, employees decide randomly if they want to lock the doors and stop serving food at this location. Hours say 24 hours, but obviously every night is different depending on the crew and what they got to do. Call to ask what the hours are or if they do not, or if they do to go orders while sitting in the parking lot watching four employees walk about when no one would answer the phone. <laughs> ah, he's sitting in the parking lot calling the restaurant and four employees walking around in there and the phone just ringing. And he's sitting in the parking lot like this watching them. I would have walked right over to the window. Pick up the phone. I'm calling y'all. <laughs> ah, that is too funny. My God today. Uh, good luck trying to reach them over the phone. Impossible to place an order, which is disappointing. This is a new person. This is a whole nother, um, I don't know what this person's name is. What is that? Whatever that is. Good luck trying to reach over the phone. Impossible to place an order, which is disappointing for being the Waffle House across from the battery. Pre-COVID never have had a favorable experience here. Well, why are you still going? Caring about customers has always been a problem. So then you like abuse. Why are you still going? Corporate needs to step in. Okay, so if you know that, why are you still going? <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> All right, Sean. I came one day last week. It had to be around 1 a.m. It was the worst service ever. Nobody greeted us when we walked in. Finally, after two minutes of being there, the lady finally asked, will this be here or to go? I said, to go. She then stated, go to the register to place your order. I and two other, I like the grammar, I and two other uh, customers was, that's where he fucked up the grammar, he should have said were, standing there for about 15 minutes. Nobody took our orders or anything. But then the server who said stand at the register began to cash out a call-in order. So after standing there, she still did not take my order or the other customer's order. They walked out. Because I was hungry and wanted waffle, I stayed. 
And I asked, when will our order be taken? She said, I'm not sure. <laughs> she said, I'm not sure. I have tables. <laughs> ah, oh my God. She said, I'm not sure. I have tables down. Mind you, they was already taken care of. She was in the dish pit, leaving us still standing. I then walk out because it only takes two seconds to take an order after you told us to stand at the register. It's not fair or nice. And this was the worst Waffle House service I have ever gotten. My God today. Okay, Sarah, Sarah Bacchus. Service was bad. No, she said service was sad. The young lady told me I couldn't order my kids food before mine. What? Because I had to order it all at once. She was not professional at all. The cook, while the food was good, never changed his gloves. Hi, Yvette Zimmerman. The cook, while the food was good, never changed his gloves, but touched everything in the restaurant, including his cell phone. Oh, Father. And then another lady came in and set her purse right in the middle of the food. What? and set her purse right in the middle of the food while counting money and acted like it was nothing. I run a deli and what I witnessed was ridiculous. I understand being short staffed or anything else, but management needs to tighten up their staff a little. And she spelled there improperly. She put T-H-E-R-E. -E. It should have been T-H-E-I-R. All right, so she said, so the next person is Maria. This is awful. Stay away. I am currently in store waiting and three staff members are shouting they are short staffed and can't handle the rush. What the hell? The owner should hear this. Three people ordered after and got their food. Two of us that ordered before them waited an extra 30 minutes because our skin color is different. The worst. Wait, let me see who she is. Who are these white people acting like they're being discriminated against? Who are these white people? Who are these white people acting like they what? Barry, let me start by saying that I've been coming to this Waffle House for nine years as it is right next to my office. And the original staff are great along with some of the new ones. But I have to call out one person who I never caught her name, nor do I care as I dread having her serve me as she is never happy or takes pride in her work. The person in question is the heavy set African-American woman with short hair that she colors sometimes. Last week, last week's visit has caused me to never return to this place ever again. I literally waited 10 to 15 minutes to even be acknowledged by anyone. And she noticed me numerous times as I was waiting for a table to be cleaned which never was. Mind you, mind you that I never waited for a table in the nine years of going here as I'm on a time crunch to be in and out. And that morning was a fail and I had to walk out, which is a first for me. All the ladies there know me by name and even my order, which I tend to switch it up on them from time to time. And it's really sad that this one person caused a longtime customer to walk away from what is a great place to go. But when you have a staff member like this, you will keep losing customers. Well, he's fed the fuck up. All right, CM Brown. Only reason I'm giving it a one, because when you go to a place called Waffle House, you would think you're... Y-O-U-R. It should be Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. 
you would think you're going to get great waffles, but nope, I'm from New York and it was my first time and I was so, so, so disappointed. And they don't even have chicken and waffles. Even IHOP has that. And they are famous for pancakes. I was so lost there, T-H-E-R-E, sir, ma'am. Mm -mm. um, that is the last of the restaurant reviews. Please hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. My mother has called me twice. I've already told her that I was about to do a live. She's calling again, so let me call her back. But listen, you guys have an amazing night. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you tomorrow. It's Fine Nigga Friday. Bye.